Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys my gold glitter nail polish collection. I have a lot to talk about. I have a bunch here and then some even here at the bottom. I moved locations, so lighting or even, you know, background is going to look a little bit different because this room gets better lighting. My room gets low, 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 low light. And so I have to depend on my ring light. And the ring light is not my best friend. It washes me out so much. I don't even look like myself. I still get washed out a little bit here, but at least it's a little bit better. Oh my god. This is not a top 10 gold glitter polishes. It's just pretty much everything that I have. Some are rose gold, some are a little bit more of a silvery kind of gold, um, some are very strong yellow golds, and I think they're all really beautiful. Some are my favorites, some are not my favorites, some I reach for year round, and actually really all of them. All, any gold glitter I think is great to pull out during the Christmas time or during festivities, you know, holiday, season, New Year's, you know, anything of the sort. I'm going to start off with one that I currently have on this, this hand right here. I'm wearing two different um, polishes because I was swatching. This one is from Butter London and it's called Bit Faker. Bit Faker is a two-tone metallic rose gold glitter. So it has gold metallic glitters in here but it has rose gold metallic glitters also and then the base is a clear slightly pink base but it's not a base that you can see on your nails because this is such a it's it's a dense glitter so it gets opaque on its own one to two coats to get completely opaque it is extremely dense there's so much glitter in here i have used this not as a topper but i've used it to dry brush a little bit of glitter um near the cuticle area and then drag it slightly down the nail so it looks a little bit like a cascade glitter effect on the nails and i think that works really really well and it's really really beautiful but i do have to remove a lot of the glitters off of the brush in order for me to do that it dries textured so if you're not a fan of textured polishes i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sorry. I love texture polishes. I know not everybody loves texture polishes. But what I usually do, if I'm not in the mood for texture, I just add a glossy top coat and it smooths it out really well. I added one coat of a glossy top coat to this one and I still feel slightly a little bit of the bumps but not um it feels very smooth still today i just wasn't in the mood for a texture but i love texture polishes i've mentioned that before i think they look really beautiful i added a gloss a thick glossy top coat for this one because i really wanted to smooth it out and i wanted it to sparkle a little bit more but even when i still want to keep the texture I'll add a very thin glossy top coat like Orly's in a snap. That's a very thin glossy top coat just to seal the texture in. NCLA's Grace is, I want to say it's probably one of my favorites out of all of the ones that I'm going to mention. I have that one, look it, on this hand right here. It's so beautiful. Pictures, the pictures that I took of this does no justice. There's nothing like seeing this live and in person. It's just freaking gorgeous. There's movement in this polish. I just want to stare at my nails for a really long time. This one has a two-tone metallic glitters. You get some silver and then you get a gold, but it's it's not a full-on rose gold like Bit Faker. Bit faker, I feel like it's a stronger rose gold to where this one's almost like a pastel rose gold metallic glitter. I don't know if that makes sense. Almost like the little cap, like you see the little hint of pink. And it adds so much interest to the nail. And it's just so beautiful. So this is one that also gets opaque on its own. Two coats for full opacity. You do feel the glitters, but this is not a textured polish like Bit Faker is. Bit Faker is a straight up. It's a straight up texture. This you feel the glitters on the nails only because there is so much glitter on the nails. But the glitters are a little bit more, um, like they're chunkier. They're not as fine as Bit Faker from Butter London. My phone keeps falling off my lap. So awesome. I, I think this is really, really beautiful by itself. Oh my God, it's just so pretty and delicate at the same time and reflective and classy it's just such a special special nail polish and i freaking love it i've also used this one as a base for a red jelly shimmer polish i'm gonna pop up a picture up on the screen if i can find a swatch of it i was uh trying to finish out a little snowman 
couple of years ago I want to say and it was in my project polish and that one has a red jelly base and and little shimmers running through it but because the gel the that polish was so transparent and I put it over top of grace I could still see all of the glitters of grace underneath the the jelly base and it made for the most perfect and sparkly manicure I just it was such a precious manicure I really enjoyed it I just don't I don't ever want to run out of this polish and because it is one of my favorites for sure moving on to a more yellow gold this one is uh, a texture I really apparently I really like my textures <laughs> no surprise there this is Solange from Zoya this is a very strong yellow gold let me pair it up to just a re regular yellow gold So you guys can see how yellow it is. It's so freaking beautiful and striking on the nails. If you are even of much deeper skin tone than I am, this will look like fire on your nails and in the most amazing way. <sighs> It's so beautiful. So a couple of coats for full opacity for this one. It is a pixie dust, so it does dry textured. Don't know if I mentioned that. Twinkle Lights from China Glaze is a good one actually for the holiday season. This is not one that I would uh, pull out um, year round like I would. Hmm. Bit Faker I would keep for the holidays. And CLA's Grace I will wear, wear year round because it's awesome. Zoya Solange I would probably. Mm, summer and Christmas time. This one, Twinkle Lights, are from China Glaze. I would probably reserve it only for the holiday season because this has a gold, red, and green glitter mix going on in here. And I, I want to say, I just I swatched it. I didn't make a note of it, but I can't remember now. I want to say this does dry slightly textured. Slightly. I don't, it doesn't dry as textured as Bit Faker from Butter London because I feel like Butter London's Bit Faker, the, the, there's micro glitters in here and when it dries, it dries really, really gritty. It's almost to the point where you could cut somebody. <laughs> it dries <laughs> so textured to where this one, um, the glitters are a little bit larger, but I want to say that it does dry slightly textured. A good glossy top coat though will smooth it straight out um, if you don't want to feel that. But I think this is really beautiful. And again, I tend to reserve this one for the holiday season. Gingerbread from Color Club. This is a gold and I see holographic. I never really paid attention to what exactly what this has because it's so sparkly that I don't even care but I re it reflects a little pink a little green um, a little purple I think it has holographics in here so it's like a gold and holographic mix of glitter this is glitter I'm gonna say two to three coats for full opacity for this one not one that I would wear as a topper and I wouldn't wear these are more dense glitters although the glitter is a little bit more fine they're still very very dense so not some that I would wear as toppers this one I would wear by itself two to three coats to get um, completely opaque but really really sparkly I think the swatch picture will only show two coats so you can slightly see my nail line but there's so much bling going on on the nails that I why add a third coat it doesn't really matter I don't I don't really care this one is one that I would not it would be very offensive to this nail polish if you put this as a topper. I've tried it over top of a gold and it just hides all of the glitters in here. Maybe, I don't know, I've never tried it over top of a darker color like a black or something like that. I put it over top of a gold previously, didn't like it, wore it by itself um, and that's the best way to wear this one because it just sparkles so much. Slightly different from Color Club's Gingerbread. Let me mention what this is called. All That Glitters is Gold from Salon Perfect. I didn't even mention the name of it. They're both yellow, but there's a little bit of warmth, a little bit more warmth in All That Glitters is Gold from Salon Perfect. And this one, the holographic glitters are larger than the ones in the, in the one in Color Club. The glitters in general, in the polish from Salon Perfect, the glitters are larger. So, so pretty. At two coats, again, you may slightly be able to see the nail line, but there's so much bling going on in the nails that it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Ooh, one that surprised me, and I didn't know if I was going to really love it. This one came out in the Metropolis collection from Orly. This is Untouchable Decadence, 
and this is a gold metallic glitter but there's varying sizes of the glitter so you get micro glitter larger glitters a little bit of chunkier glitters in here and it is one that if you remove a lot of the polish off of the brush for this one you can use it as a topper but it does get opaque on its own at three coats. I actually really liked the other one that came out in the Metropolis collection. It has gold glitter mix in there, but the other glitter is a little bit more peachy. I want to say it almost hints a little peach pink. It doesn't lean as gold as all of these as, as all of these do. So Untouchable Decadence, you're going to see it in a manicure where I did a leopard print and I did this as a base. It looked so beautiful. Really loved that manicure. I thought that was really adorable. Recently wore that manicure maybe a couple weeks ago. But I'm also going to share with you guys. I think I did a swatch of this by just one coat maybe. Um, if not, you're going to see it just with three coats on the nails of this guy. One that is a topper. But you can also use it as just to do a complete manicure with this one. Maybe sponge it sponge on all the glitters this is dreams on a silver platter from opi i think it came out in the nutcracker collection i could be mistaken i can't remember off of the top of my head i find this one to be a unique topper because it has matte white glitters and silver metallic glitters same size and gold micro glitters. And some of the micro glitters are also silver. And that's a lot of different kind of glitters. I love this. I think it is so beautiful. I think the picture that I'm going to share with you guys is one that I just recently wore during the fall season. I paired it up with a yellow for more OPI, which is never a dullest moment. And I did an accent um, finger for that one and just added, I think I added three coats of this guy. But I could have easily sponged it on and, and got my nail completely opaque. There's certain areas that it almost look, looked like a neg negative space because you could still see my nail line, but that's the, the look that I was personally going for. Another one of my favorites, and this is a topper. This is Maria Luisa from Zoya. I have talked about this polish many a times because it is so beautiful. It is a very warm gold topper and these are shards of gold glitter so varying size you get micro glitters you get larger glitters you get larger chunks of the glitter you're going to see this over top of a gray base and then i mattified it because it's one of my favorite manicures that i've i've done with this topper and really any it does not matter any um manicure that I've worn with this guy over top of it I think it just elevate has elevated that manicure it is such a beautiful topper I love it so much so this is not one that you can get opaque on its own this is one that is just a topper and I think it is so beautiful so because the shards are very um flat and a little bit thinner than chunky glitter like dreams on a, on a silver platter it's not one that's going to stick terribly to the nails but the m much smaller little shards of glitter do tend to stick to the skin around the nail and consider all of these um except for the glitter topper from um from zoya and even this this topper that i'll talk about in just a moment from opi all of these stick to the nails terribly okay and removal process is going to be difficult and that's with any glitter not just gold glitter it's just any chunkier kind of glitter or texture kind of polish so what i like to do usually is um, use a peel off base coat i'll link a couple of them down below one that i've used for years and it's worked fine for me is the big peel off base coat from Sally Hansen. I've recently bought the UNT peel, peel off base coat but that makes it a lot easier for removal because you could just pop off the nail polish off of the nail instead of like oh my god just rubbing it with acetone in a cotton round or you can get the the soak, soak off clips sell them on Amazon. I bought my kit from Walmart. It was from the brand Pewene. And then you put your cotton round soaked in acetone, put your little clip on, right, on all of your nails and let it soak for about one or two minutes. And then once you remove that, the glitter just kind of glides right off. Right off. So it that's made it super easy for any kind of glitter polishes. I love glitter. So I'm willing to 
try different things that will make it easier for removal because that's not going to stop me from wearing them. One that is uh, I bought actually, I think I found it at Walmart by its little lonesome. I don't know if it was a part of something. I'm not really sure. It's the only bottle that I found. This is called More Than Magic. No, I think I found this one at Target actually. And these are little shards of a very strong yellow gold glitter. Even more yellow than Zoya's. Look at how much stronger. If you're familiar with Solange, you know how yellow this is. Look at how much more yellow. And it even has a little hint of green. Oh my god, it's so pretty. I have not worn this guy. I bought it in the summertime, maybe during spring. I found it at Target because I just thought it was so interesting. And have not worn it. I've been saving it to wear it for the holiday season. So have this guy. One that I have not worn in a very, very long time. I've debated on getting rid of this particular polish. I don't know, for a long time. This is more of a champagne gold and it's from Zoya. It's called Levy. But I hold myself back from getting rid of it because it looks so pretty in the bottle. So this is a texture polish. It is part of their pixie dust, so it does dry gritty on the nails. And it has a champagne gold and then larger holographic glitter. Um, I think it looks really pretty. It, it leans a little bit, like it hints a little bit more on the pinky side. And maybe I'll try it for the during the New Year's time and, you know, see how I'm feeling about it. If not, I'll just get rid of it. Tomoko from Zoya is um, more of a, also like a champagne gold, but more silvery than Levy. Do you see that? So this one does not have the holographic larger glitters like Levy does. I think that's why I find this one. I like the ones that Zoya has that adds the larger holographic glitters. But I really like that, that effect because then you see the little, you know, specks of glitters kind of glistening <laughs> on the nails. This one, which I've never worn, I'm embarrassed to say, this is called, oh my god, I should have brought my glasses, Lushington? Lushington from Butter London. So I'll show you guys a little swatch on my nail wheel because I've never worn this guy. Maybe I've swatched it once on a couple of nails but never actually wore it as a manicure. And this is also a gold, but not a very strong yellow gold. Let me compare it to the yellow, the um, Untouchable Decadence from Orly. Just a different kind of yellow. And this is more of a micro, micro glitter. And last but definitely not least, I, I had to add more base coat to this one because it gotten so this is from OPI and this is called Gaining Momentum. I think it was part of a Miss Piggy and Kermit duo or something. And I tried to go back and get another one and I've never been able to find another bottle of this. I freaking love this. This before Zoya, um, Zoya's Maria Luisa was my favorite gold kind of flake. It's not flakes because they're shards of um, almost foil little sheets. They're not flakies. Um, they look like foil sheets that were torn up in the bottle. And then same thing with the one from um, Zoya. They're a little bit thinner than a glitter. This has gold and silver. And then the base also leans, it's sheer, but it leans a little bit pink also. Oh, it's so beautiful. So guess what I did? I was done. I was finishing up my editing and realized I didn't close out this video. I got so excited about doing close-up bottle shots that I forgot to close it out. So thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it inspirational. Maybe it reminded you guys to pull out some of your old favorites. But either way, I appreciate the fact that you guys took the time to watch and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.